Right, moving on and thinking about types of debt. Debt is where you have a fixed commitment to repay at a later date, so consequently redeemable preference shares could be classified as debt. The other types of debt that we need to have a quick chat about will be as follows. Bank loans, bonds, convertible bonds. Now remember this chapter is about long-term finance, so we're not thinking about overdrafts. Bank overdraft are short-term, repayable on demand. We're talking about bank loans, bonds, convertible bonds. Bank loans first. A bank loan is for a fixed amount, isn't it? You agree to receive some cash from a bank, or the bank agrees to give it to you. It is a fixed amount for an agreed period. It could be a number of years, it could be a number of months, it's probably going to be a number of years. I think we should assume that because we're dealing with long-term finance. There will be a cost associated with the bank loan. It's not free, is it? There's going to be interest that you have to pay on that bank loan. You might have to pay it at the end, you might have to pay it throughout the period, but there will be interest associated. There will be repayment terms, so you will be told in the agreement over how many years you're going to pay, whether you're paying monthly or quarterly or weekly or annually, whatever it might be. And most loans are what we, called, uh, what we call secured, have security. So if a bank is going to lend you money, they lend you money to buy a house secured against your house, don't they? So if you don't pay, they get your house. With companies, normally they would secure the loan against some of the assets that the company owns, like some property or some inventory, something like that. So if the individual does what's called, or the company does what's called defaulting, doesn't pay the loan back, the bank can still get their money by taking the assets. So fixed amount, agreed period, there will be an interest cost, there are repayment terms, and there will be security. You can have two different types of security, really. You can have a fixed charge, which is to, which covers a specific asset. So you have a loan secured against a building. We have a floating charge, which means the loan is secured against all of the assets of the business. So that's bank loans. Bonds are just really loans from other institutions that aren't banks. So bonds carry a fixed interest rate, fixed time period. Normally with a bond it would say something like um, a 2027 bond, which tells you when you need to pay the cash back, gives you what the time period is. Fixed interest rate, fixed time period, fixed redemption value, in other words you know how much you're going to have to pay back. Bonds are typically not issued by banks, they're issued by maybe other companies or the government. So you can get funds from lots of different places. Don't think that you only get funds from bank, from banks. Anyone can provide funds as long as they've got a reasonable track record and they're reliable. Bonds are redeemable. Redeemable means repayable. Okay, so if you issue a bond and you receive cash, then you will have to pay that cash back at a later date. That is always going to be the case. The good thing with bonds, um, over and above bank loans, is that bonds can be marketable. That means that you can buy and sell them throughout their life. So there's actually a market available for the acquisition of bonds and the selling of bonds. So we looked at bank loans, we looked at bonds. Another type of debt would be a convertible bond. And a convertible bond is simply you issue and receive some cash, but then the bond holder, the person that you're going to pay the cash back to, they can say to you, we don't actually want you to pay us the cash back. We want you to give us some shares in your company instead. So the bond holder, the person that has actually given you or lent you the cash in the first place, can ask for the cash back or they can ask for shares in your company instead. They are the ones that have the right to convert into ordinary shares. If they do not want to convert into ordinary shares, then the bond is redeemed instead. And redeemed just means repaid. Okay, so it's another type of debt which would be a bond, a convertible bond. So we've looked at bank loans, we've looked at bonds, we looked at debt, convertible bonds. There's a little example of debt finance. 
So we're just asked to pick out the false statement in respect of long-term debt in this particular scenario. So which one is the false statement? Number one, debt can be secured. Number two, interest is always payable on debt. Number three, it's the directors of the company who decide each year what the rate of return will be. Let's be clear about that. The directors of the company who are receiving the cash from the debt decide each year what the rate of return will be. So we've got to decide which one of those is actually false. Well, statement number three is false, isn't it? The amount of return is fixed. It is not fixed by the directors of the company that are receiving the cash. It's fixed by the loan provider, not the directors of the company. Therefore, the first two statements are true. The loan can be secured. It doesn't necessarily have to be secured. The return is going to be fixed but it is not the directors of the company receiving the finance that determine what the return is actually going to be.